What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music business, music licensing, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So I'm hitting you guys up with another tutorial. I've did I've done a tutorial on automation and how to automate volume and panning and things like that in Logic. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to automate um, an effect. Uh, today I'll be doing a filter effect from a plugin outside of Logic. Um, so I'll show you guys kind of how to navigate a plugin and, and how to pick the right uh, parameter so that you can automate whatever effect you're adding to another track. So. I have a track here that I, I automated a filter on so that pretty much I could draw it in and then it'll just do its thing by itself as the track is playing. Um, so I'll play it without the automation and without the effect and then I'll play it with the automated filter so you guys can kind of hear the difference and then I'll go into showing you how I actually accomplished that. So let's dig into it. So here's the here's the track without the automated filter on it okay so here is the track with the automated filter on it So you can hear it's this sound here that's that's doing the um, the filter. Okay, so that's the effect that I did. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So. I use the waves one knob filter to accomplish this um, because for one, it's super easy and I think it, it gives it a dope filter effect. So <clears throat> what you wanna do is uh, just press A. Uh, you press A and then it turns your tracks to this, this automation mode, if you will. Um, so what you want to do now, since this effect is on the synth swell, you're going to go to where it says um, the automation parameter, main volume, volume. And what you want to do is scroll down till you see the instrument that you want to control and that you want to automate. In this instance, is going to be the one knob filter and then just select filter. And then as you can see, you can select, you know, any other parameter that the your whatever plugin you're using may have um, for this one i just want to control the filter so we click that and as you can see i already drew it in but here is where you could you know you can draw in your your you know your filter how you want it to go up and down and in and out and it just changes the effect and then you'll see my actual actual filter move on its own as i play the track So there you have it. That is how you automate um, other plugins outside of just the native um, Logic Pro plugins. And, you know, you can really get creative and really get the kind of control that you want to get. Um, as you can see here, I have an EQ, a compressor. I can automate the compression if I wanted to, the gain on that compressor. Um, just all types of things so the flexibility is there that's how you guys do it if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace